Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Is your resin print failing, getting weird artifacts or clouding bottoms? It might be time to change your FEP film. In this video, I'll show you how to replace the FEP on your resin 3D printer. Quick, clean and easy. So the FEP of fluorinated ethylene propylene film is commonly used in 3D printing, particularly in many desktop 3D resin printers. Their excellent chemical resistance and non-stick properties make them an ideal choice as release material in resin printing. And of course, it allows the light to shine from below much more cleaner without any resistance or refraction, which allows for quality prints. Just look at my FEP film, it's all ripped inside. I used a little too much force with my spatula, so that's why it's ripped. And due to that, I have to change the FEP film. Now to change your FEP, here's what you'll need. A replacement FEP film, there are multiple choices on Amazon, but I went with the same Anycubic brand. Not that the cheaper ones are bad in any way. I just want to make sure that I don't have to replace it again anytime soon. And Allen or Hex wrenches, isopropyl alcohol, paper towels, and a utility knife or scissors. I would also recommend gloves and a clean cloth. Start by removing the resin vat from your printer. Make sure all the resin is emptied into a bottle. I am using this funnel with a filter and this metal one has been a big help as I don't have to keep purchasing more filters. The vat is fully cleaned with isopropyl alcohol. Let it dry completely before you move on. Flip the vat upside down. Make sure to keep something below in case something left in the vat. Use your wrench to remove all the screws around the bottom frame. Once it's open, the FEP is between these plastic sections, pull them apart and now we have our old FEP out. Grab your new FEP film. This one's not pre-cut and is actually meant for a bigger printer. Peel off any protective layers. Place the film between the two parts of the frame. Line up the holes and select one corner. Push the screw in. This will rip the FEP and go into the hole below. I first used a hex wrench as a hammer, but later I found that it was easier to just push it in. Now choose a hole diagonally away and screw it in. Continue on screwing in at opposite edges. This keeps the tension even. Don't over tighten, you don't want the film to wrinkle or tear. Tap the FEP gently, it should make a sound like a drum. That means it's nice and tight. Now trim off the extra film with a utility knife. I'm using the scissors here. Reinstall your vat, pour in your resin, now you're good to go. No more failed prints, hopefully. If you do have a failed print by chance, remove all the resin from the vat and just touch the print from below. It should come off quite easily if the tension on your FEP is right. So that was the video. I hope it helped and I would also like you to actually like subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.